Folks, certain works are considered classics, but not by everyone. From time to time, we gather up one-star reviews, the lowest rating possible of classic works from Amazon.com. And then we hand them to Paul F. Tompkins to perform his dramatic monologues. All the material is taken from the Amazon website. This is Amazon Review Theater. The Beatles' White Album. <laughs> this is, without a doubt, the greatest album ever. If you live in a world of lullabies and skiffle, <laughs> these lyrical geniuses, as they are so often described, are so solely because half-wits give meaning to their nonsensical lyrics. It's kind of the magic eye of musical lyrics. If you listen long enough and ingest enough dope, maybe you'll find meaning in their words after a while. That nursery rhyme entitled Rocky Raccoon should be renamed uh, The Curious George Goes to the Saloon Rag. But if ever notice, Beatles fans are the same sheep that make it necessary for fast food joints to offer value meals. <laughs> Simply, they need to have someone else decide what would be good to eat. Well, I say this. Here's another pellet for you if you're crazy enough to buy it, but we already know you will. <laughs> William Shakespeare, The Complete Works. <laughs> Hello, Shakespeare! <laughs> Is anyone home? Most people will say, that I didn't understand this, but I totally did, and it still stinks. <laughs> it cannot equal the feeling I got of reading about Frodo and Sam climbing Mount Doom. <laughs> and the fight scenes were totally unrealistic. I'm into suspending disbelief and all, but Hamlet, hello? <laughs> like a ghost living? <laughs> Give me Mount Doom any day. <laughs> Little women. <laughs> to make it better, Please make it shorter. <laughs> and not to have so many confusing plots in it. <laughs> but it was still a little bit good. Paul F. Tompkins, everybody.